WebFocus Designer is a web-based content creation and assembly tool that you can use to quickly and easily create content from the ground up. WebFocus Designer includes tools to blend your data with data flows, then use it to create charts, reports, interactive and responsive pages, and workbooks to explore your data and gain valuable insights. Charts let you deliver your data story with visual punch. Pages let you assemble content together to create data stories. Portals let you deliver pages to the right people and even create their own pages. Workbooks provide analysts with a fast workflow to put all the pieces together. In Release 8206, you can also create reports in WebFocus Designer using a technical preview, allowing you to explore your data on a more granular level. You can quickly add fields to a report, filter it, change the display of measure fields, and modify the layout to create tabular report content with ease. To create a chart using WebFocus Designer, from the Common or Designer tab on the Action bar on the WebFocus homepage, click Chart and select a data source. You can create content using a master file from the server tab, or you can use a reporting object or a master file shortcut in the repository. The available options depend on your user privileges. You can see the server tab if you have the designer content from metadata privilege, and you can see the repository tab if you have the designer content from reporting object privilege. Once you select your data source, WebFocus Designer opens. If you created your content using a master file as the data source, you can bring in additional data through a join by creating a data flow. Click the Data tab. You blend in data, whether it comes from certified or new sources, by dragging it in. Joins are automatically created based on likely relationships using names, titles, and formats to make it quick. You can see information about the blend and change it if you know better. It's easy to figure out if your join will work. You can also see a chart of the values included in your joined data source. You can add multiple tables to your data source to greatly enhance the amount of information that you can display. Once your data is ready, you can use it to create your content. WebFocus Designer Chart Mode includes a variety of chart types and customization options in order to display crucial information in the most effective way possible. Drag your desired sort and sum fields to the canvas, or add them to the appropriate bucket. The canvas updates to reflect your changes. You can change chart types easily and even create matrix charts by adding extra fields to the vertical and horizontal buckets. The available buckets define additional characteristics of the chart, such as legend categories, color scale, or element sizing. You can easily style the chart with options for different parts of the chart. For example, for different data series in a chart, you can change colors, fonts, and more. You can also use runtime options to enhance your chart even further. Options like Auto Drill and Auto Link allow access to even more content through links, while Insight allows users to create their own chart at runtime based on what you provide. You can also use the Automatic Refresh option to update your chart dynamically when using streamed data. Dynamic filters give your chart real power to tune the data displayed when you run the chart. You can set these filters up for user choice at runtime, or use them dynamically as you design the content. At runtime, filters provide easy-to-understand lists and prompts, optimized for the data types you are working with. Numbers let you choose from ranges. They offer you lots of power. For dates, you get quick business time periods and also a calendar for custom dates. Dimensional filtering is also fast. Search is built right in. To see how the chart appears at runtime, click the Preview button. While designing the chart, there is a default record limit of 500 values in order to save processing time. You can change this in the Designer settings. When you preview the chart, all values are displayed and runtime behavior is available. When you're done building your chart, save it. Optionally, you can add a thumbnail to make it easier to identify. A thumbnail is an image that appears in your repository to identify your content. Save the chart to save the thumbnail along with it. You can add charts and reports to a responsive page to quickly and easily build meaningful and interactive applications. To create a page, click the Page button on the Common or Designer tab of the Action Bar. When the page opens, select a template. To build the page, simply drag content into the location on the page where you want it to appear. 
you can easily resize it, add rows, and even add multiple charts or reports to the same container. You can navigate through content that shares a single container using tabs, accordion panels, or a carousel control. If you add a chart that uses a dynamic filter to the page, the filter is automatically identified and controls for it can be added to the page with a single click. Use the Properties panel to control advanced page behavior and style the page. You can bring even more content together by creating a workbook. A workbook is a way to engage in data discovery by going through the entire designer workflow from data flow to chart to page in a single session, keeping all the contents together in a single file for easy access. To create a workbook, from the Common or Designer tab on the action bar, click Workbook. Select a data source to continue. When creating a workbook, you can quickly add new components by using the options at the bottom of the designer interface and navigate between them using tabs. You can then build these components using the same tools as when creating standalone content. The integrated nature of the workbook makes it easy to build from the ground up and create a complete view of your data to help identify specific insights and points of interest that can be explored in depth. You can manage which users have access to designer features. Four privileges make the features of WebFocus Designer available to domain developers, managers, administrators, and advanced users within the My Content folder. These privileges control the ability to create workbooks and pages, and whether users can create content from master files and reporting objects. You can set these privileges in the Advanced Reporting Privilege category of the Security Center Edit Role dialog box. You can customize a role so that your users can only use Designer with reporting objects by clearing this privilege and saving the role. All of these privileges are available to these user groups by default, but you can clear any of them if you need to limit user access to one or more individual features. To learn more, visit the WebFocus Knowledge Base, where you can search all technical topics and videos.